everyone. Hi. Guess what? It's Friday. It's 12.30 and it's time for Facebook Live. I'm Prosecco. And Prosecco. <laughs> Go on. Ching ching. Ching ching. Uh, so today I promised you something that was hot networking tips. So we're going to start the usual. You guys know the score. Give me the thumbs up. Hi Ben. Hi oh. Ben. <laughs> so Ben watches in the office. Ben is from DigiPrint. There's Ben Squared, two Bens, and oh. they tune in in their office every Friday oh, fantastic. to get the top tips. Great to have you on here, Bens. <laughs> ben. um, so today, can you see in the background here? We'll move out of the way a little bit. Can you see where we are? We're at the harbour side in Bristol. So that thing behind my head um, is one of the masts from the ships. So it's exciting. Also, for those of you who are watching, not on catch up. This is a bit like when you watch the X Factor or the oh, voting yeah. shows. Don't vote because you're on catch up. <laughs> hi, hi Ben Gregory. Hi, hi Ben. So, yeah, All the Bens. Yeah. So don't vote because you're on catch up. So but if you're watching this live, hi Vivian Simpson in the house, in the house. Hi Vivian. Vivian. <laughs> Woo. Um, so if you are watching live. And you think, you know what, it's Friday. Do you know what? I am just a little bit pissed off with what I'm doing on a Friday. Yeah, poet's day today. It is. So we're undressed down. Look, Tracy's in her jeans, I'm in my jeans. We are having a little bit of a chill out because we all work so hard. Oh. And what we're doing is not only are we doing Facebook Live for you guys, we are literally just going to have a chat and then we're going to do some networking. If you can get your backsides down to the harbour side. It'd be great um, to meet you all. Yeah. yeah. So 2 p.m. when we're gonna if you can join us for drinkies. I am not shouting the drinks. I am Scottish of course. <laughs> but you can join us, do a bit of informal networking. Hi Jamie in the house. Hi Jamie. Hi Simon. Oh Simon Crowther. <laughs> hey in the house. <laughs> So Simon Crowther is part of the Can Clan. Right. And last year Simon won Entrepreneur Young Entrepreneur oh, of the Year. Fabulous. At GBEA. So he has got a multi million pound business in the flood and he is only twenty-three. Woo! Ah, now Vivian's saying I need a helicopter to join. I've got a, a, a helicopter member <gasps> in Cardiff called Hover Helicopters. Oh, there you go. And if you That's do it. want a helicopter ride, it's gonna be in July, thirteenth of July, get it in your diary. In Cardiff, we're doing a helicopter networking event. Oh, that sounds like a perfect networking event. Because Intrabiz likes to do different things. We don't do boring. We like to do different things and create experiences for people. Well done. So, can you tell everyone about Intrabiz? Tell us about Tracy. Yeah. And also, first, how do you pronounce your surname? Oh, well, listen, when I first met my husband, Paul, which was seven and a half years ago now, um, he told me his name was Paul Smolinski, and I thought it was Slominski. And I kept saying Paul Slominski, and I was introducing him to people, and he said, no, 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 my name is Smolinski. I said, oh, Mr. Smo. So basically, he's got a, um, a nickname now, Mr. Smo, and people call me Mrs. Smo, and I've even got a pair of Converse saying Mrs. Smo on, because my his son bought them for me for my birthday. So we're known as Mr. and Mrs. Smo. Now that is cool. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Bob Griffin in the house, good to see you. Hi, Bob. Hi. So, tell us about Intrabiz and tell us about the story behind it. How did we start all this, Tracy? Well, basically, I used to um, sell advertising space and I used to work for the Western Mail and Echo in Cardiff, which is now Wales Online. Um, used to work for business magazines. And the last job that I had, uh, which was in 2007, my boss said to me, go out networking. Networking? I said, what's all that about then? And he said, well, you go to all these networking events, you swap your business cards and you do business. I said, yeah, I can do that, that's fine, uh, that's, that's cool, I can go along. So I went along to my first event, and because I was a saleswoman, nobody had actually taught me how to network properly. Um, and I started going up to people saying, <laughs> hi, I'm Tracy from Enterprise Magazine, I sell advertising space, do you think you'd be interested in that? <laughs> you know, I was like going in for the quick kill. And people's body language was like, whoa, this girl is a bit full on, because I'm not, you know, I'm not exactly quiet and shy. So I was getting nowhere. So the first three months, I got diddly squat business. But luckily for me, I did happen to get on with some of the people who I'd met, and I thought that they liked me and I liked them, and we started to get to know each other a bit more. But I wanted their honest feedback, because I think in business, you've got to ask for feedback. Because if you don't ask for feedback, yeah. you can make all these mistakes, something you know you could be doing completely wrong, and if you don't get feedback, you'll just carry on making the same mistakes. And I always say, if you carry on doing the same things, you're gonna get the same results. 
So I asked a few people, I said, listen, I'm getting zero business from this networking lark and I was about to give up. So they, I said, what am I doing wrong? And they said, oh, can we be perfectly honest with you? I went, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm asking for. Come on, tell me, what am I doing wrong? And they said, you're too much in people's faces. They said, you're trying to give it the hard sell and networking's not about that. I said, what is it about then? Because I want to get business. They said, it's all about getting to know people, getting them to like you and you like them, and building up that trust and building up the rapport and building on the relationship. And I said, oh, blimey, Charlie. I said, yeah, I can do that. So they said, just come to an event, just see how you can help others, get to know them, get them to like you and vice versa, and take it from there. So I did. So month four to month 12, I changed my tack completely and just got to know people. By month 12, I'd sold 100 grand's worth of business just from wow. networking twice a week. And that wasn't even with Intraviz. So I thought, wow, this is powerful stuff. And you know like that cheesy advert, the American advert years ago, for those that are my age, you all know this. Remember the Remington Steel advert? And he says, I love the product so much I bought the company. So for me, it was like, oh my God, this networking lark is amazing. You know, imagine what I'm selling, 100 grand's worth of business just from networking twice a week. Imagine I make more connections, what else can I sell? And what else can they help me sell? So I thought, right, let me set up my own network. And I didn't have a lot of money because I was a working mum, working from um, working from home. Um, uh, you know, I was working from home for this magazine. So I went to one of my advertisers who had a bit of money and he had, he had lots of fingers in lots of pies. And I told him my concept and I said, I want to bring up this network because there was no networks out there at the time that would strategically place businesses with their target audience. So I created my USP and thought, well, hang on a minute. If I can create a network that I can place people with their target audience, because I used to go to so many events where they wouldn't necessarily mix you up with the right people. You'd be yeah, sat next to somebody yeah. who's not your target audience, or you could be on a table with a competitor. And I thought, well, no one's being strategic here. And because I'd sold advertising space beforehand, I understood target audience. And I thought, well, why don't I just do a networking event where I can put two people together? So say a, a wedding photographer with a wedding planner, with a, with a wedding floor, you know, with a florist and connect people with the right people. So I started to ask people, you know, what do you think if I set up this network, would you be interested? So I just did a bit of research first, because obviously I built up these relationships. And guess what? People were saying, yeah, I'd be up for that, I'd be up for that. So when I went to John, this entrepreneur, I told him what I wanted to do and he said, well, I tell you what, let's go in this business together. I'll finance you and you can obviously get out there and network and get all these memberships. So that's what I did. But after three months, the business wasn't growing quick enough for, for him and he, he just wanted to make a quick buck. And I said, this business isn't about just making a quick yeah, buck, it's, it's about building game. on it. Yeah. And for me, it was the long game. You know, He was in, interested in just making a quick, short, fast buck and that's not what I was about. I said, no, I want to create a brand. I want to create a brand that my kids can be proud of, that their mother created, that also other people would be prepared to come on board and say, God, am I glad that I joined Intrabiz because that's given me huge value. Because in business, there's, you're only there for two reasons, to either solve a problem or serve a need. Yeah. That is it. And what I say that Intrabiz stands for, which is where the business comes in, Intrabiz stands for two things. Relationships equals trust. And if you've got those relationships and you've got the trust, yeah. wow, that is massive. Yeah. And this is how we've started to build our network. We're very much, we say it as it is, you know, we're not the blame and shame culture. We don't blame our staff if we make an error. You know, I'll say, that's my fault. I'll always blame myself or, you know, this is not anything that anyone I single out. It's like, so you start building up the trust in people. Yeah by being honest and being open and being transparent because these days people want transparency they and they want they authenticity they yeah. don't want bullshit they yeah. don't you know and I, i'm sorry if I'm, I'm i know i'm live but they don't they want transparency yeah. they want you to say you know i am what i am you know when i stand up and speak and i do a lot of keynote talk talks on networking skills and relationships i always tell people how i got it wrong yeah. because i actually stand up and say hey you know i'm human I'm, you know, I get things wrong, but you know, guess what? That's an opportunity to get things right because yeah. you learn from those mistakes. Yeah. And if you make a mistake, my, my kids say, oh, I failed or I've made, I said, don't worry about it. You fail, but that's, you're going to learn for the next time. Yeah. So don't think of it as a failure. Just think of it as a learning. It's a learning curve, you know? 
So we want that subject. Hi, Darren Clare. Uh, Darren Hi, Clare's Darren. In the house. <laughs> uh, people want others. They can feel they can trust. Definitely, Vivian. And I think you know, there's a big thing at the moment is like, know, and trust. So, but you talked about you know the mistake that you made at the start. You know, when networking, and it was again for for us, we call it selling too soon. Um, yes. And again, it comes up. People say to me the challenge is closing, and I tell them the challenge is opening. Yeah. So look, looking at your business, so we've obviously, you've got the networking down pat, you've got the expos down pat, but what in your business, so what would you say has been the biggest mistake or the biggest challenge that you've had to overcome in the business? Oh my gosh, I think, um, I think that the, the challenge for us, I mean, I think a lot of small businesses, you know, we've got a, um, a huge profile and, you know, we're not a huge business, but we have got a huge profile, but we, we, we hugely love our clients, which I think that, that's what it's all about. But I think there, there's a few challenges. We've got a fantastic team around us now. Um, so I think staff sometimes can be an issue trying to find people. the right people yeah, because as business theme, owners, yeah. you are, we're very passionate about what we do. But you also want to instill that ethos into your staff yeah. to have the same passion. Um, and, and I've got to say, we've got a fantastic team around us now, which is brilliant. But we've had some challenges with staff, uh, yeah. you know, and that's not easy. Um, and, and the same as all businesses, you know. I mean, I've just recently read the book of um, Richard Branson, Losing Your Virginity, you know, um, a couple of months ago. And every single business out there has cash flow issues. Yeah. You know, yeah, because you know that, that is because yeah. people don't pay on time, but you've still got your bills going out. Yeah. So, you know, and, and we still have cash flow issues, you know, we're not we haven't got millions in the bank, I wish. <laughs> you know, but but for That's me I a always, yet. <laughs> yet, exactly. Yet. Not yet. But I always say if you serve your clients first and you give them value first yeah. and you care about your clients. Of course, yes, you've got to care about the money because you've got to have money to make the world go round and to pay your bills. But if you serve people and you give them added value rather than just take, 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 and, you know, if you're a giver and you think of your clients first, the money will follow. Yeah. You know, if you look after enough people, they will tell other people. So I think it's about, you know, I'm, I'm a great believer. of One thing I've learned, this is never, ever about intrabiz. You know, it's like people said to me last week, they were saying, oh, you know, it was great, Tracy and Paula, great. I went, oh, hang on a minute. You know, I have a wonderful team around me. This is not about the Tracy and Paul show. This is about the team that we have around us because without yeah. without my team or without our team we and without our members and clients, we don't have a business. So I always say, and Richard Branson always says it, and it's so true, you look after your team and your team will look after your clients. Yeah. And yeah. that is a hundred percent because if you have a happy team, that will then portray to your clients and it goes across. and it will yeah. you will get more. You know? So we've got a, we know what to do with the um, networking, we don't sell too soon. But what else? So what else can our viewers learn from Tracy? What are the other fundamentals that you see? Well, going on? there's a couple of things. Is um, when you go out networking, one of the biggest tips I always say to people, never ever ever judge a book by its cover because you never know who you're talking to and it's actually in my book because I brought my book out Master Network in last September because yeah. of the mistakes that I made I wanted to bring it How out. How can they get a hold of the book Tracy? It's on Amazon, uh, Master Networking obviously by myself Tracy Smolinski um, and basically it's you you can't judge a book by its cover because you never know who they know and in my book it says there was I had a client that was going for an interview okay for another job and he was rude to this guy in the, in, the, um, in the street, okay? He was rude to him for whatever reason, whether he was in a bad mood or what, I can't remember now, but he told me this a couple of years ago. And it turns out the following day, he went for an interview and guess who was interviewing him? Uh, Ouch! Uh, it was the guy he'd been rude to. Now, do you think he got the job? Hell no, he didn't get the job. So you never know who you're talking to. And I always say, it was my little saying, look, look through their eyes. Who do they know? Because mm, yeah. you've got to, if you're, if you're nice to people, you know, I always say be nice to people anyway, because if you're nice to people, it gives you that good feel factor. You know, I love people as you can probably gather, you know, and so, you have to be nice yeah. to people and be respectful to everyone because you don't know who they know. And I could be talking to the cousin of, of Sir Richard Branson and would I love to meet Sir Richard Branson? Hell yes, you know, I- We're going to NECA. <laughs> oh, that's what, that's on my vision board. That's, that's I'm gonna do a networking event in NECA Island. So we are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna make that happen. Let me tell you, everything on my vision board that I've ever had, this law of attraction works, let me tell you, because all you've got to do is think, what have I got to do to get where I want to go? And then you make it happen. <laughs> so, I, I've got a question then, right? This is a wee bit more controversial. So do you believe in business karma? 
100% I believe in business karma because I always say what goes around comes around, whether it's in your business life or your family life, your personal life, you, you actually attract what you think. So I always say to people, surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with nice people because then they will gravitate to you if you're nice to them. And if you surround yourself with successful, nice, positive people, you too will have a successful and positive life and business. So I'm a 100% believer in karma. So tell the guys how they can get um, learn more about you because we've got you know we've got audience that watch some in the southwest, but we've got um, in the clan there's nearly 1,500 members, and we get a lot of views of this after. So they're obviously doing things during the oh yeah sure. They're not doing what we're doing. No, that's right. But we're networking. We've got loads of opportunities, and that's what I always say. You never know who you're meeting and who you're going to talk to because what will come out from today there's going to be huge opportunities and I've got an acronym on my on my book and it's called master networking but the acronym is networking is you can see it when you read the book but it's N for new contacts E for enthusiasm T for trust W for warmth and O for opportunities and when I said about never judge a book by its cover because when you start talking to somebody the other thing is you've got to follow up with people because when you have a one-to-one -one follow, follow up I've got a follow up book follow as well which is super focused so that you can do never miss an opportunity but when you follow up with people and you have that one-to-one -one with them outside of the networking event because we always say that intrabiz will initially connect you but it's really what you do outside yeah. is yeah. that's when your follow ups is that's when you start to build your relationships when you have that one-to-one -one meeting and you start talking and engaging with each other and finding out how you can help them and how they can help you that it's mutually beneficial for both parties so not all take 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 you have to give as well um, is those what opportunities can come is humongous yeah, yeah. seriously and think, you know we talk about that in sales training because I think you know again sales and networking they're just like we're like sisters from another mother <laughs> um, but one of the things that I think is we know that most sales are made between the 8th and the 12th contact yeah they say um, seven eight times yeah, yeah so not the not that you're phoning them like oh but you know your touch points, your Twitter, you know, and I think that's where again, you know, yeah. feeding into the stuff that we did on previous ones about LinkedIn and Twitter. This is where again, <laughs> just cultivating that relationship and yeah. keeping them. And you know, at the moment, as you know, last week, <coughs> so this week, whenever it was, I was on BBC again, third time in three weeks, guys. Whoop, whoop. Um, but that happens that now when people go networking, if it's not me and it's one of the team, <coughs> that they will say, oh, Alison was on BBC. And it's a good way to engage to start a conversation. Yeah. So to me, again, you know, the viewers, I think one of the most common things is people don't know how to start the conversation. So for us, we teach the four W's, is who you are, where you're from, but what's in it for the customer, or what's in it for the person. Yeah. So rather than you know, feeding back to what you said at the start, selling too soon, it's all about you, it's flipping it to them. Yeah. So again, what's a good opener that you would teach or that you would you know, ask? Well, I, I have a lot of people, when I go to a networking event, someone else's event, which is very rare these days because I'm just so, so busy, um, but people will come up to me and say, oh, you need to be introduced to Tracy. She knows what everyone, she's well connected. And they'll, 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 they'll start asking me about Intrabiz and I'll go, yeah, I run a networking event, full stop, okay? And I'll just say, right, tell me about you. What is it that I can do for you? How can I help you? This is where a lot of people out there, business is about one thing, that everyone is only interested in themselves. So you always have to say, what can you do for others? Because if you're going in there with, I want, I want, I want, I want to take, 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 it's not going to happen. Whereas if you go into someone and say, what is it that you, that's one of the first questions, I introduce myself or they'll introduce me, and I always say to them, what is it that you do? And then I ask lots of questions. So where do you get your clients from? What is it you're looking to achieve? What type of business are you? You know, what services do you provide? Who's your typical client? Who is your dream client? Where do you want to travel to get your business? Are you global or are you just local? Et cetera, et cetera, yeah? Because then I'll say, because I want to know how I can help you. So it's always think of how can you help others first? Because a lot of people out there, and this is where you will stand out, a lot of people out there are only interested in what they, what they can have for themselves. Whereas if you go out there and be a little bit different and say, I want to help you, this is what I can do for you, yeah. then you're going to stand out, you know? Lorraine Lester's in the house from Scotland. Hi, Lorraine, how are you? Lorraine, Lorraine is the, <laughs> created the animal that is um, the entrepreneur's godmother. Ah, fantastic, because well I, done. Um, when I, was, I didn't know what to do with my business, she said, it's really easy, you're going to set up a sales training company, so blame Lorraine for everything. <laughs> blame Lorraine! Fabulous. Yes, 
<laughs> so, um, you know, to wrap things up, Tracy, I, you know, and again, you don't ever sell yourself first, but this is your spot to sell yourself about your networking, the amazing stuff that you're doing, where you're doing it, and also about um, the expo. Our expo is on the 2nd of November in Motor Point Arena in Cardiff. Get your tickets so put your, put your date in the diary. It's on Eventbrite, or you can go to the intrabiz.co.uk website or the expo.intrabiz.co.uk because we've got the two websites. And you can book online there, not a problem. It's free to come. We're also doing a networking breakfast because obviously we're a networking organisation. We love connecting people in business with their target audience. So we always do a networking breakfast at the expo from 7 in the morning till 9 before it officially opens to the public. So anybody that wants to come along to that, the tickets are going to be between 15 and 20 pounds and you get a breakfast included, a cooked breakfast. Love, it, so. love a bit of breakfast. Yeah, so we're doing that as well. Um, we're a Google partner, so we're proud of that. So we, we, we've got Google coming down from London. They're going to be doing some seminars throughout the day. Um, you know, we've got some really great speakers. We, we're in talks with a lot of people at the moment um, to speak. So, and there's, sem as I say, lots of seminars going on um, that you can learn. And we always say it's exhibit, learn, network, grow, and connect with people. And that is Perfect. what, you know, I, I don't really want to sell myself as such. All I can say is that I love people. Um, our team and, and my husband loves people. We want to help people in business connect so that they can potentially grow their businesses. And that if someone joins our network from as little as £649 per year, okay, and if they get 100 grand worth of business, happy days yeah, that's what results we that's exactly you know what we want exactly you know it's not about anything else rather than the clients and what we can give them perfect tracy thank you so much no problem the, it's been a the pleasure clan, for the clan they have never heard me get in so little words <laughs> they know i be, talk a hind of they the will be god they will be gobsmacked <laughs> Um, now we have got next week's facebook live again 12 30 friday the topic do you know we came up with a really good topic yesterday but I've forgotten what it was but we'll post it on the clan guys that are watching live thank you Ben thank you um, all so much and thank plan, you for the opportunity our plan is to literally keep drinking this eat a bit of food if you are in Bristol near the harbour side or actually if you just want to hang out with two incredibly well connected people with a dress boost this thick to do some networking you know what get your ass down here thank you so much have a great weekend bye 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 everyone bye. see you all soon meet you all soon